Hi everybody, uh, we'd like to introduce the, the rabbit ears unit. Um, we've scaled it down a little bit from the full size just because of shipping and other issues. Um, so what we have today is um, a 100 watt system. Nominal, it's rated at 110, uh, but we call it a 100 watt system. Um, if you'd like to come over here, you can see how we've set the system up. We have a DC to DC PLC. Um, it, it will run 100 watts DC. So we have an input from the tags from, from this unit here. And this is the output going to your battery. We have an R232 port for our system, which you will be able to see on your dashboard of your computer. We have uh, multiple inputs and outputs here for IOs, uh, analog, and some digital. We have a thermistor that hooks into uh, this board and also this board. And that thermistor is, uh, or thermocouple, is for the hot side. It controls the hot side temperature. So if the hot side temperature is too hot, uh, it will, this board will activate, send a signal wirelessly from here or here to the pump and turn the pump on. This will draw the heat from the hot side because this cold side is getting colder via this heat exchanger you see here. And this is what it looks like inside. It's a PEX tube with a heat exchanger inside. So it's a liquid tower inside. And just to give you an idea, this is what it looks like inside. And then this fits inside here. So this is filled with liquid. And then the liquid is separate. If it, there's a secondary liquid channel that goes through. That pump takes liquid from a reservoir or from an external colder surface and cools it. So that's how the system works. A very, very efficient design. Um, what you see here is six 56 by 56 millimeter modules, three per side. They can run them in series or parallel. For series, you would run them for a 24 volt system. Uh, for, par for a 12 volt system, you'd run two threes in parallel. Um, as you can see, if you would like to come over here, you can see, um, if you look inside, you will see that this is a heat extraction system. They, these are finned heat sinks. Um, they're coupled to a six inch uh, flue. A very effective method of drawing maximum amount of heat flux from the flue gases and into the cold side. So you get really good power out of this system. Uh, PEX tubing, half inch PEX tubing. Again, you can see this is PEX at the top. This is what you'd have here. This is uh, what, what you'd see. And so very easy to set up and run. We have uh, vent plugs that um, uh, relieve any pressure that will be formed in here from the heat. These vent plugs. So this is never over pressure in the cold side. Um, so inside here you see we have one sensor we have a, a, a thermistor for temperature of the liquid inside this tower and that transfers a, a signal to our PLC and tells the pump to turn on when the, the when the temperature in our liquid is is at a maximum that then cools the liquid down through circulation via the pump to from a reservoir and then when the lower set point is reached the unit the pump shuts off once this raises again the pump turns on so that duty cycle is recorded based on how much heat is being absorbed from your hot side so this is an all controlled system it's fully controlled by sensors we have as i said the thermocouple on the hot side the thermistor on the uh, th thermistor on the cold side. We also have, as you can see, a liquid level capacitive liquid level system here that maintains the liquids. Should, should the liquid decrease in this in these towers, it also sends a warning to the board. So we've developed a very sophisticated system. Now, as you can see, this system as it stands is is fairly small. It's around uh, 25 inches high, approximately 25 inches high. This is a 100 watt system. Now, the client wants to, they can expand their system as you can see here. This is a roughly a five foot section. Now this is 12 inches, we will reduce, you can reduce this, you only need a section permitting to allow a PEX tube to breach from here to here 
Obviously you have all that room so you could you could lower this by about six inches and that brings this down to about four feet. So that's above your stove from the bottom to the top four feet. Now you have a 220 watt system. Nominal power output of this unit. You have the ability to run liquid and distribute that liquid through your house vis-a-vis -vis this PEX tubing. You can put it into a reservoir. You can dump it under the floor, in-floor heating. You can use radiant heating on the side. All, of the, all this flexibility allows you to operate this and run your stove extremely efficiently. Um, we have all, if you come down here, we have all our sensors going here. Here you can see the wiring of the tags. Here's the wiring of the tags, the first wiring. The second unit, we can run another set of tags in here from this bus board. We have the thermal couple connectors. We have the liquid level and also the thermist, uh, thermistor hooked here. And this is your power out. As you can see here, this is your power going out. And you can run this to the wall and run this into your PLC, DC to DC. And then that goes out to your, 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 um, uh, your battery. Okay, so that's the system that we've developed. Um, we will be launching this in July 2020. Um, we've been testing a unit at a, at a uh, location off-site. It's working extremely well. Um, and we will have that data available to people who want to see it on our website at techtag.com or thermoelectric hyphen or dash generator.com or espresso milk cooler.com. Thank you very much.